Welcome back to Land the House. I apologize for all the water noise. We just got seven and a half inches of rain in two days. <laughs> Previously, I built this ram pump with two half inch waste valves. I got this to work on a three quarter inch drive pipe and within just a moment, it had 50 PSI uh, on my gauge. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing more of a real world test. I've got this pump and we're gonna put it against a single waste valve three quarter inch pump. So let me show you my setup real quick. I have a three quarter poly pipe coming down with about two to two and a half feet of head pressure. Comes down here to this point right here. I'm gonna be installing both the pumps where this block is. Then I'm gonna be using a garden hose as a delivery pipe up here to this point. If that's not enough back pressure, I'll move it up the hill some more, but it should give us a good enough reading. Now I'm gonna be using my super scientific bucket with tape and a stopwatch to see the output here. Test one is gonna be with a three quarter inch ram pump. I've got it all ready to go here. I just have to uh, prime the tank real quick. So I'm gonna push this valve until it starts cycling on its own. Now due to the uh, poly pipe and its uh, flexibility, this is gonna be really slow and not very efficient, but both setups are gonna be the same, so it should be equal. So I'm gonna let this pump for a little while. We'll head up here to the top of the hill and measure the output on our garden hose. Okay, the pump is right down here, and here's the output. It's got a, uh, a surge because of the inefficiency of the pump. So I'm gonna be measuring till the bottom of this white tape and see how long that's gonna take. Okay, 14 seconds for that. Let's do it again for the other side. Okay, I count exactly 30 seconds to get that volume right there. So the results from the single waste valve were 15 seconds to the first line and 30 seconds to the second line. So now it's time to test out the double waste valve ramp pump. So I've got the delivery pipe on here and the drive pipe is connected. Let's see if we can get this thing primed and going. It seems to close with more vigor. Looks like we're close here. Okay, I believe we're good. It seems to be cycling on its own now. We'll give it a second and then head up the hill and try it out. Before we get these results, hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the hydraulic ram pump videos. And also remember, I have four different sizes for sale at landhouse.com. Okay, let's find out what we got. What we're hoping to find here is that this will fill up faster than with the single valve pump. And that means that we would have a higher volume of water or a greater potential of pumping further uphill. So let's give it a test. So just like before, I'm going to measure the time to get to the lower line. And then we will measure the time for the other one as well. So I'm waiting for my clock here. Okay, time has started. Nice, okay. Only took eight seconds to get there. So far, so good. Okay, and now for this side, let's see what our time is gonna be. Nice. Well, I am impressed with our results. The uh, single valve ram pump 
was able to pump to the lower line in 15 seconds, top line in 30 seconds. But with the double valve, it was able to pump eight seconds and 15 seconds. So essentially it is pumping twice the amount of water that the single valve is. Very impressive. So it makes me wonder, what happens if you add more valves than two? So I think in an upcoming video, I will add a third valve to this setup. And since we already know um, how the single valve and the double valve are gonna operate, we'll just give a test with the three valves and see if it helps or decreases from that point. Well, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly have. I learned a lot. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, write those down below. And check out landahouse.com if you want to purchase a ram pump. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.